In 1925, Cleveland School first opened its doors as an all-grade school. The small town school excelled with what it had. We did as well as we could do, but we, gradu we gradually got better every year. Led by Hall of Fame coach and Cleveland graduate Bruce Coates, the Rams competed in baseball and girls and boys basketball. I tried to do right, and um, I think it rubbed off on quite a few players. And today, it is not uncommon for players to come by and sit. And we talk about Cleveland and things that they did years ago. As the community grew, Cleveland was forced to move their 9th to 12th graders to South Johnston High School in 1969. Garner opened their new high school just a year prior, and the Magnet School flourished, a true community school that relished in its academic and athletic success. Um, that's one thing you don't have to worry about in Garner. Uh, this, is a, um, this is a community team, and so the community always supports these young men. In 2010, an influx of transplants once again brought change to Clayton, and the new Cleveland High School was born. Now competing in all sports, the Rams look to the Garner powerhouse as a blueprint for success. We got a lot of respect for Garner's football program as well as I think for a lot of years they've had a lot of success. So they're, they're kind of a measuring stick for a lot of, lot of schools and a lot of communities. Playing at the JV level in its first season, the Rams went undefeated. Cleveland football was on the map. The two communities began to blend together in their support and growth. We have mutual respect for each other. Uh, they're great coaching staff over there. Um, our communities, it feels like we, uh, we root for each other when we're not playing, but uh, definitely uh, want to have bragging rights for the next year when we, we square off against each other. We actually got some who go to school here whose parents played football at Garner. And I, they come up to me often and say, hey, I played at Garner, but I got to pull for the Rams tonight. Christopher McIver cheers for the Cleveland Rams. His father, Garner Police Sergeant Mike McIver, is a 1992 Garner High School graduate. He's going to be cheering for Garner. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll let loose, just start screaming for them, and my mom will give him a good nudge. Your wife hits you, you need to cheer for Cleveland. Your kids go here now. I was there uh, my freshman year. I got to see Anthony Barber and Garner win the state title. That, that was a great year. With such close ties, Garner and Cleveland facing off can bring quite the dilemma. I am a Cleveland fan when Garner's not involved, absolutely. I've got Cleveland hats, believe it or not, I just house divided or Mike divided in this case uh, when those two teams play. As both squads finished at the top of their conferences last season, Cleveland looks to continue their ongoing success and hopes to follow in Garner's footsteps by grabbing a state title of their own.